Hi everyone! Welcome to Cloud Dolls! Merry Christmas everyone! And Happy New Year! And I'm coming with a Christmas collaboration hosted by Stitch Witch and Feli Nevarger Arle Doll's House For this Christmas collaboration we're gonna enter in the world of Little Pony and this time with Rarity is one of the main characters of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic She is Sweetie Belle's older sister and the subject of Spikey's long-term crush. Rarity work as both a fashion designer and a steam stress at her own shop in Ponyville, the Carousel Boutique. She represents the element generosity and nothing better for this time of the year, for the Christmas. So, and for that, and we need a clean canvas, I'm gonna cut her hair really short with my heat gun. I'm gonna make the vinyl soft and take the hair out and with 100% acetone I will take the factory makeup out with my tweezers I will scratch the hair from inside and pull it through the neck hole and here we have a clean canvas to work with the body I'm gonna send him with my nail buffers to take the glossy out and with nail polish remover without acetone I'm gonna clean it and take all the fat that he might have I'm gonna spray the face with Mr. Super Clear UV Cut and the mask, don't forget the mask I give it three layers, let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes and with my watercolor pencils and with my soft pastels I start sketching her face. I start always with a lighter color of brown. I begin to build her face and I begin sketching the eyes. It's always the same process if you saw my other videos. Rarity have blue eyes and I'm gonna give them. I'm using Faber Costal watercolor pencils, Karen Dash Super Soft and Stabilo. You can find my materialized in the description box below. With the soft pastel, I mark where I want it, the eyebrows, with the watercolor pencil, I give it really fine lines. And again, my Mr. Super Clear gave me a lot of troubles. I have to insist on the layers. It didn't want to work with me again. At this moment it's 3 degrees in Holland, so it's really cold. With my Stabilo black watercolor pencil I start sketching the highlight. And slowly building the layers and the opacity that I wanted. And with soft pastel I give it a little bit of blush with the red color and I start sketching the eyelash in the bottom. I 
She needs bling bling, shiny, and I give it to her with some micro powder. I finish her face with some white acryl paint. I give it the catch light. For the hair, I'm gonna use this 100% acryl yarn in the purple color and with my pet brush that is dirty, I'm sorry. I'm gonna brush the yarn as usual and I'm gonna glue him in this plastic. But first, I'm gonna stretch him in my hair straightener. You have this glossy, beautiful hair. I'm gonna glue the edge here with tacky glue and I let it dry for the night. I can use it in the other day to make her wig. I use hot glue and I go around her head. I start always from the bottom and go the way up till the top. Again with my Mr. Super Clear UV cut, I spray the body and with the same soft pastel color, I blush it. For the colors, I choose white, silver, glitters, fluffy fabric, holographic. I love this fabric for the skirt. And I made her this belt. I'm gonna start making a tutu for the underskirt. And then attach it together, the two layers. I trim it with a lighter, it's a really nice uh, tip to frame some kind of uh, fabrics. The three blue diamonds are the symbol of rarity, so I'm gonna make them with these blue sequences. I'm gonna cut them until I have the shape that I wanted and I'm gonna glue them in the skirt, like this. And I love it. Now for the jacket, I start in the shoulders. Now the mouse, like this, and then I close it. I'm gonna finish with this uh, sticker fabric, fluffy, around it. And I'm gonna give her a bow with this purple lace and two pompons. With the same silver glitter ribbon that I use for the belt, I'm gonna draw, cut it and glue it in the back side of her jacket, the three diamonds that she used. I print this eye shoe base in my 3D printer and with the same fabric of the jacket, I'm gonna build her boots. First, I'm gonna sew them in her legs and then I'm gonna turn around I paint the base of the boots in silver and I protect it with a varnish glossy. I painted also this bag that I found in my stock box in silver color. I finish the boots with the same fluffy fabric sticker. And 
And with this silver chain, I will decorate them to match the purse. If you notice the purse, she also have like a chain around it. With super glue, I glue directly to the boots, like this. And I love them. And I'm finished them with the same blue sequences that I will cut it and I will glue it in the diamond shape. I'm gonna use this pearl glue in purple color. I want to pretend that the bag is a big marshmallow wrapped it around the chains. Pearl glue is the perfect medium to do that. It takes a while to dry, but it gets a really cool effect. And I think nothing better than marshmallows and candies for this time of year, Christmas. What you're gonna have on top of your table this Christmas? I'm gonna have a lot of chocolates, believe me. My people here, they have a lot of chocolates. They are crazy about chocolates. I find in my dollar shop these cute bells. I didn't decide yet what color, silver or blue, but I decided in the end the silver gets better. So I'm gonna put it in a bag. And of course her body have to get also <laughs> bling bling. And I do it with micro powder. And it's time to put the head back to the body. Really carefully, I don't want to damage the face. And she looks beautiful. As you notice, I give another top with a glitter ribbon, but uh, become damaged. She was a little bit like paper. So I decided to give her this cotton top made of a sock. I think it's more cozy, warm, and I finish him with this white lace with a silver finish, and I think it's perfect for her. And now I am uh, styling her hair with my hair styler for the last, and with my toothbrush and some water to help it. And of course, our rarity, she needs a manicure. I'll give one with silver color. And my camera doesn't want to work with me. I'm not going to use anything hard anymore. It's time to put the eyelashes in place. I'm using doll eyelashes. With my high glossy varnish acryl, I give it three layers to the lips and eyes.
and because I think it's always space to improve, her horn was not perfect. I was not happy with them. I want to pretend that it's coming out of her head, like crystal snow. So I did it, putting crystal white glitter in her head, and then I attach this horn that I printed for her in the middle, and I'm gonna paint him in white. Also glue the same white crystal glitters. She needs a Christmas base. I see her in the street, in the middle of the shops, buying everything that's gorgeous, amazing. I'm gonna do it for her. For that, I'm gonna use this base and a standard. Then I'm gonna cut it with my Dremel, glue it, and of course, a lot of snow, a lot of snow. I'm gonna cover it with snow. Like this. And I found these little trees. It belongs to a, a Christmas village, but they are the perfect size, and I fall in love with them, so I'm gonna give it. And in the bottom of the base, I'm gonna cover it with this uh, green felt that I'm gonna glue it and cut it with the scissor. Now it's time to introduce you our Christmas rarity. And there she is. I love her. She's fashionist. She's amazing. This doll is going to be on my Etsy shop, like the other ones. And I leave you with with my Christmas rarity and the other dolls of the other artists that made this amazing collaboration possible. Go and check them out. I have the link below on my description box. And thank you, thank you for all the support of the world. And I see you next year in my next video. Bye.